Yo, yo, yo. Good evening, everyone. Can you all hear me okay? I think you can. In fact, it looks like I'm pretty blooming loud by all accounts. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to a WhatsApp, what's up, what's, what's up live Zwift race, WKG Racing League stage one. And I am nervous. This is so weird. I've not had this for a long time, but I mean, my heart rate there, you can see 144 beats per minute. I'm doing 30 watts. That's pretty much all I did in my warm up as well. And my heart rate's been about that or a little bit higher. So extra, extra pressure, extra nerves. Good first excuse, I'd say. The fact that obviously I'm starting with a higher heart rate than I should be. So therefore, read into my performance what you will, add maybe 30% more would be a more accurate uh, gauge of exactly where I am. <laughs> no, joking aside, this is, this is unreal. And the main, but the main reason I'm nervous is the size of it. There's like, there were 230 or 220 something people registered last time I looked. Um, a lot of them, well, it's only showing 19 at the moment, but it looked like there were gonna be about 30 in the D category, which is where I am. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm pulling myself. Um, I say hello to everybody in the, firstly in the Zwift chat that I've seen. I can see Martin, Jason, oh, Mr. Trilk Jr. First ever race, fantastic, great to see you here. I think it's, is it Oliver? I'm gonna guess, I might be completely wrong. Rudy Plasma, LeCue, Johnny Seneca, E-Boss, Martin Overweg, Mr. Halbersma, good to see you. Oh, Villegas, Stephen Moon, Tours here, Henrik Stenvik's here, Jason Masterman, Pickles is here, Martin Backer, Jason Masterman, I've said him, Brian the Mountain Goat Roden, this is awesome, Gordon Sloan's here, Blair Drader, I mean, I could, well, actually, I was going to say I could go on, I actually got to the top of the list when I was doing that, so, a bit of an exaggeration, but that's just the guys I could see in that chat, so, so good to see you all. Then in the, uh, live stream chat we've got kev we've got gordon darren hunter paul trilk toxics here henrik stenvik tours here martin overwig daniel creasy and donald leg actually i've just seen yeah donald you're not going to be able to make it you're, you're unwell so um rest up mate it actually seems to be you know state the obvious but a bit of a common thing at the moment right taking even taking covid out of the equation everybody seems to be ill with something some kind of fluey bug at the moment um Myself included, which is excuse number two. 
Um, so that might explain my heart rate a little bit as well, and my nerves. Uh, so yeah, sorry, sorry you can't be here, Donald, but um, as you mentioned, you lost a few kilograms, so yeah, good prep for, for the next stage. Uh, is Toxic riding yet? No, I don't believe he is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly, Kev. It's been too long, man. <laughs> uh, yes, I am a D, Gordon. Uh, Kev apparently isn't here to heckle. It's part of sports psychology. Yeah, I've experienced your sports psychology, mate. It's uh, it's more damaging than good. Uh, no, to be fair, you have a ca on a very odd occasion sent me a nice sort of well done, mate. That was a good ride kind of message, but they're few and far between, which is why I can remember them. Right, what are we doing tonight? <clears throat> so stage one out of twenty, everybody has to complete at least fifteen of the twenty stages to qualify for the league. There are four purple vomit stages within the schedule. Everybody has to complete at least three of those purple vomit stages. So called because it's like the 111, the mega pretzel, I think. Uh, basically, multi hour big rides. Um, and we've got a kind of experimental point structure, which I'm, I'm excited about, cautiously excited. Could go horribly wrong, could work out to be one of the best things we've, we've tried. Um, Martin Prop, who I, I have to thank anyway for all the hard work he's done behind the scenes with the registration, with helping work out the points structure, uh, putting the, he's going to be helping putting the uh, results table together. Um, absolute legend of a man. So Martin, thank you, buddies. This wouldn't have happened without you. Likewise, Mr. Rink Visser, who's been helping to promote it, set up all the events on Facebook, and uh, just been absolutely priceless in terms of support and help. So you guys... This is all thanks to you. Um, yes, N in the chat has said, massive kudos to the WK organisers. Absolutely right. WKG, sorry. Um, it 100 million percent is not me. I've done the easy bit. I've put the schedule together in the roots and post a few things on Facebook. That really is pretty much all I have to do. So um, it's the other guys that do the more technical stuff and it's absolutely amazing. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, tonight's stage... I thought I'd start off with an absolute classic, and it is the original, it's just Watopia Hilly, which in my mind is still possibly the best race route on Zwift. That and, well, it depends what you want. I like the R Richmond, I love Richmond UCI still for racing, uh, but we're going to do this twice. Not ridiculously hard, but obviously it's as hard as you want to make it, as hard as you want to charge. For me, I will not be charging hard at all. So I will let everybody know right now, my plan for this league is growth and progression. So tonight is a case of get to the end, if I can. Um, if I manage to beat anybody in the D category, I will be super chuffed. Um, and then the next race, which is on Saturday, see if there's anything built up from today. And if I manage to do any rides between today and Saturday to carry that through to uh, progress a bit further. Let me just stop this music a second, then. <clears throat> uh, right, so we've got 36 now in the Ds. Uh, I've got 1 minute 20 to go. I'm going to start warming my legs up a little bit. Uh, actually, I better check. I've just literally charged and plugged in my, my uh, ETAP battery. Yeah, that's working fine. So I can now change both front and rear derailers. <clears throat> uh, there's someone there I've just seen that said after last year, they, they said never again. I think I say that after every race, let alone every league. <laughs> oh wow that's good to hear there's, there's 43 riders in a cat there's 41 now in d cat <laughs> this is amazing hey toxic got a trainer but not the sensei oh yeah toxic my bad man i mean this will bring me on to my next excuse i don't think i've ever been so busy in my life and it just coincided with the timing of having to get all this ready as well so apologies to everybody I've been ignoring, all the things I should have done a lot sooner than didn't until this morning or last night. Um, yeah, it's, it's not been easy. Anyway, I need a bit of focus for a second. No more chit chat, 30 seconds, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. WKG Racing League, 21-22. Go, go, go. Best of luck, everyone. Have a great race.
257 people. Wow. I can't go chasing group. Look at all these names, Len, Rink, Snore, <laughs> Richard Buckle, Paul Mess, love it, Noel McGrath, Henry Deekstra, Oh, anyway, definitely not talking until at least the top of the hill now. Look at my heart rate already. Oh dear. Sure now in front of me. <laughs> Jesus, Darren. 184 beats per minute. Four minutes into the race. There's Mr. Moon. We've got John Walker. Good to see you, man. Apologies by the, by the way that we're all in the same kit. Because we're using the cat slot, it uh, swift forces the kit. I'm gonna try and change that for future, future stages. <laughs> I think I was there and setting up this, this trainer.
Yeah, go on, Toxic. Jump back on, man. Uh, looks like we've got some shenanigans going on up front. Sustaining 15 watts per kilogram. There's a surprise. Yeah, top of the first climb. <sighs> all right, just a matter of the rest of the lap. Then do it all again to go. Oh good, Gordon's hurting. <laughs> Oh, not feeling great, I've got to be honest. Oh, comes the next bunch. Martin Scara, the Kibble, the Rubini next. I'm happy to just try and catch my breath here. <laughs> I am Darren. It still doesn't feel like it. <laughs> You're probably right, Kev. <laughs> now she's gone past me. Vivian Jones. Oh, my God. I know this can't be that entertaining for you lot. But let's just hope that everyone ahead of me just burnt themselves out. <laughs> oh god, here goes Thomas Rosa. Vodder next. Another prop. Oh my god. Oh good. Who's gonna overheat it? Oh beer in the bead on a oh, no. My usual go juice mix and then water, unfortunately. I knew I was unfit, but not this, not this back. Ah, <laughs> oh, Patrick, what a shame. It's so hard, I'd love to be able to do either multiple runnings of stages uh, so that everybody had could fit a time slot but I just don't have the capacity to deal with it I'm afraid oh no 
Young Oliver Trilk's catching me. 15 seconds back. I think we've got Hans Petter Summerson's uh, son in here as well. Possibly. When there were 200 signed up, Rink said he was going for position 195. So I said 194. Yeah. Rydland, the Ridland's come past me. Hey, cheers, pickles. Hey, man, is that Emmanuel Person? If it is, great to see you, dude. Or whoever that was, thank you for the ride on. Oh, at least you rode in summer, Patrick. Good man. <sighs> Try and jump on Refnoff, Refnoff's wheel. Stay there for a bit until young Oliver catches me. <laughs> How bad is that going to be? I'm going to Lincoln Ballon, Oliver Trilk. Oh my god, not good. Got about a third of the lap to go before we even start in the next one. <laughs> That's the beauty of it, Kev. You get points based on how many people turn up in your category. So, if there are 45 or whatever in this category, in DCAT, the winner's going to get 45 points, second will get 44, third, 43, and so on. So, at the moment, I'm assuming there's about 10 people behind me in the DCAT, maybe not actually. Uh, then you get bonus points for winning. Seven, five, four, three, two, uh, one, I think, for first five positions, something like that. Can't remember exactly. I'm trying to stay with these guys, I think. Ryland, no, not Ryland, Revnov and Dino. <clears throat> See if they can help me to a half decent speed, at least till we get to the next time. <clears throat> Oh, Dino's had enough of me. Hey, Mr. Clock. Cheers, man. Oh, caught and passed someone. Vodder and Barkley. Here we go. Now just doing well, nearly 30 seconds up the road. Paced herself really well on that first climb. Noel is here, I'll have a look where he is at the moment. I think he's quite a way ahead. Yeah, still first lap, Darren. I know, it's taken a while.
<laughs> yeah. I'm not worried about the bonus points in this one, Kev. Unless there's a load of disqualifications. It's my best bet. Uh, do you know what? Poor old Oliver, obviously being younger and a lot lighter, would have really suffered on all the downhills there. That's why he's fallen back. I'm sure he'll still come right back to me as soon as we get anywhere slightly uppy. But this, this sort of favours the, the bigger bloke, this section. Thank you, Caroline, for the ride on. I just saw that. I hope you're feeling a bit better. I know both yourself and Rink have had this fluey bug as well. So I hope you're resting up well, taking all the right medications and treatments. Yeah, now just killing it. So a quick look, see if I can see Noel and a few other guys. There's Nadja, great stuff. Oh, here we go. Robert, Pickles, Joel, Stephen Moon's up here. Craig Sharp, good to see you Craig, it's been a long time. There's Shawno, Maria, Tor, Nick Pouton, and here I think is going to be Noel McGrath. Bloody hell, he's on the second climb already. All right, beg it back to me, sorry guys. I want to stay with these two if I can. Thank you, Neil Diamond, for the ride on. Uh, here we go, here comes the pain again. And the asthma attack and the stupid heart rate.
Fist there. He does that to all of us, uh, Patrick. Huh? That was a stream gone. Looks all right here. Well, you just had arm dead. Have you finished Blair? Good job if you have. I think Darren was referring to the fact that it looked like I wasn't moving. <laughs> so it looked like a dead stream. Oh, well done man, that's brilliant. This isn't good. I'm going to pay for this tonight and tomorrow and the next day. My wife's going to kill me. She was adamant that I shouldn't do this. Thank you, Henrik. I'm trying, dude. Promise you. <laughs> Only a like organ donor, maybe. Not that there's much there that's of any use to anybody.
Ah, uh, Scott's gone past me. I've got no defence whatsoever. I had to just use everything I had left to get up the climb. Hopefully this little bit will recover something towards the latter stages in the S's again. Ah, oh, John, good to see you, Dave. Thanks very much. Hey, Kieran, he's Kieran, isn't he? Active recovery. What this? Oh, <laughs> I don't know, Kev. You haven't tried it, mate. Even in your worst, you can still beat me. Even if you were on death's door and I was in the race, you'd find a way. Hey, cheers, Simon. Thank you anyway though, dude. I'm just stupid enough to live stream it, which makes me do things I wouldn't normally do. I definitely wouldn't be doing this if I wasn't live streaming. Oh, it looks like Gordon's going for a sprint near the finish. I just saw orange numbers. Gordon Sloan. I've got Barkley right on my wheel now. Hey Gordon, well done man. Good job. <laughs> yeah, Darren. How are you anyway, mate? Without revealing too much on a public forum. Now things. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's as much as we could ask for these days, I think. Oh, Rink's going for it as well on the line. Let's see if we can see. Ah, oh, there, I just missed him. Damn, see orange numbers again. For Mr. Visser. Oh, I finished only a, a matter of four and a half kilometres ahead of me. Rink, well done, man. <laughs> Jane's there, she's coming to the finish. <laughs> I'm going to assume that means knee. It's still swollen. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I did toxic. Now didn't have his wedding ring tied to the laces or something. Yeah, it looked like you had to work for that, Gordon. I saw the orange numbers. 
I'm anticipating something similar with Barkley here. Hey, hey Maxime, great to see you, man. <laughs> Let it out, Martin. Better out than in, I say. Um, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm still moving. Working with S. Barkley at the moment, which obviously hostilities will resume, no doubt, either up into the S's or nearer the finish. But we've kind of got clear air either side of us, so we might as well take it relatively easy until the point we're looking to attack each other. Heart rate's come down a bit, so still in it for now, with three kilometers to go. Yeah, my max heart rate, I have had it in the 200s before, but generally speaking, anything mid to low 180s is kind of top of where I would expect to be when I'm pushing pretty bloody hard. Oh, thank you, Rink. <laughs> you too, man. Jesus. Oh, please tell me you got over the line, though. Oh, my God. Hopefully, it's all recorded on Zwift Power. <laughs> We've created, my friend. I'm not taking the blame for all of this. <laughs> okay, I got a draft boost. I was hoping for an arrow. But I suppose as long as I can survive these next this next hilly section. The draft's pretty good. Yeah, exactly, Kev. That is the idea. I managed to outclimb Barkley, which is weird. Wow, 30 minutes, five seconds. Had a finish for Blair. Whew. What was that rink? Yeah, I think that's rink's time. Okay, so maybe it's not going to come to a sprint with Barkley.
Oh man, Oliver's doing incredibly well. Absolutely brilliant. As I said earlier, if it wasn't for the way, the way that Zwift has to calculate weights for younger riders, he wouldn't have been anywhere near as penalised on the, the downhill sections and definitely was going to have me. Hey, Vance now! Great to see you, my friend. All right, Barkley's coming back strong now and I'm actually feeling a bit of cramp, so... I hope... Uh, I hope you don't get too, too close, because maybe my sprint isn't there today. Hey, Mr. Williams. <laughs> I'm not sure how to respond to that, Darren. <laughs> Most of the viewers will have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> 700 meters to go. Unless Barkley lights up orange numbers now to the line, I think I'm safe. I thought that before on this very route and I had a screaming Darren Hunter, Dwight Williams I think it was, come shooting past me right at this point, accompanied by goat noises. Hey Brian, thank you man. Yeah exactly Darren, here comes the goat scream. No, I think even I'm safe this time. 200 to go, 12 seconds. <laughs> no, I am not sprinting unnecessarily. <laughs> oh. No, Ralph. <laughs> right, here's my sprint. There you go. Oh. Guys. Oh. I was probably saved a vomit situation there by Barkley not pushing me right to the line. Oh, oh. And uh, so I didn't have to do that last, last dig. I was quite comfortable around one and a half to two watts towards the end there, I think, without having to have my, uh, my tea revisit me. Guys, thank you all so much. Thanks everyone in chat as well. Ah. Oh. I feel horrible but brilliant, as I do after every one of these at the moment. I don't want to do it beforehand, I dread it. I try and talk myself out of it. I get on, want to get off after 30 seconds. And then always at the end, I'm just really pleased I did it. Every single time. And seeing that many people, that, that those numbers, and everybody digging deep and pushing hard, it's just amazing. Yeah, thanks Kev. Oh, I right, see if I can get to the results. Uh, does it give me the results after I do this, or should I go? Oh, this is how long it's been. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'm getting cramped. Oh, ah. yeah. Saturday, Saturday early morning. Actually, I should tell you all at the moment it's showing as being. Um, out to Zwift, I think, but it's actually going to be Chain Chomper or something like that it's called on the, oh, sorry, my brain's all over the place. Anyway, it's not out to Zwift. It's a more gentle route than that. Uh, but for some reason I can't edit it. And it looks like Zwift haven't assigned the event to Team WKG yet. So um, I can't actually edit it, but I will, I will try it. So if I go end ride, do I get the results here? Yes, here we go. Right, so let's look at the categories. I can't tell who's in the league at this stage. But let's just look at the uh, the raw results. Uh, 6.8 watts per kilogram. 
I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not even going to go down that path. So I'm literally just going to read them how they are. So overall winner, Jay Adamic, followed by G. Kuman and M. Surk, Surov, Surovkak. Well done, guys, on the podium. Then we have Gabez, Paul Waddington, S. Fisher, Jay Anderson, A. Pendini, Blair Drado, who said he just got inside the top 10, and S. Ruben, rounding that top 10 off. Awesome stuff, people. That's just, like, I mean, I said it so many times, but those numbers are just alien to me. Um, I'll just do the top 10s of each category for now. Uh, in B cat, we have Jamie Woodward. Good man. Followed by Henrik Stenvik. Great stuff. H the Hoff, which is not Keith. It's a different. We have another Hoff uh, rounding off the podium there. So well done, you guys. Then we have Struthers, Hansen, Beardsworth, Lequeu. Woohoo! Binny Osek, Paul Bailey, and Jay Winard. Winwood. Great stuff in the top 10. Again, all around four watts per kilogram. Amazing. You were 251st. Well, I was um, I was chuffed to get 232nd, was it? So I managed to finish above 20 people. <coughs> no, I'm not going to read out all 250. <laughs> yeah, Gordon, I will do. I'm going to get in touch with them first thing in the morning. I didn't realise that was why I couldn't edit it until Martin very kindly prompted me. So, uh, yeah, I'll sort that out. In the C category. Oh, my old category. Oh, those were the days when I was able to get, like, top 50 in the Cs. <laughs> uh, so we have, I mean, again, I know that that's not going to count, but I'll read it anyway. JD, Ian from The Herd, and Simon Gregory are oh, your podium. Albeit most will jump up at least one spot from that, from what I can see. Um, then we have Mr. Bailey, Mr. Van Gogh, Mr. De Vega. Actually, I'm saying Mr. It could well be Miss or Mrs. Uh, De Vega, Shanley, Hodgson, the man, the prop monster, managing to get a top 10. Great stuff, dude. And mate. Oh, hands. Well done, man. Just outside the top 10. 3.1 watts per kilogram. Good stuff, dude. Right, so that's your top 10 in the Cs. I should do the top 11, which is a bit rude because I spotted someone I know. <clears throat> Try not to do that. But... Then the one that matters, let's be honest. Look at the size of this D category. <laughs> this must be lockdown categories. <laughs> So we have McCrimmon with a strike. Uh, Bam Bam. I can't remember what the cap is, but anyway. Bam Bam. And Jay, which is Jay. Is that Jason? Jason R. Blaster. Is that you, my man? If, oh, my God. Don't mean to be show favouritism, but I really hope that's you because that's awesome. Followed by, look, Fogarty. Great stuff. Steve Newton. Fifth. Stephen Game. Sixth. Noel McGrath. Seventh. Hexiotto in eighth, Red and Brett in ninth, and rounded off the top ten, C. Cookson. Great stuff. Um, so where did I come in D category? Craig Sharp, well done. Kieran Halbersma, well done. Joe Walker, Robert Mickelson. Oh, look, I am coming quite far down. Stephen Moon, Nadja, 30th, good girl. God, that sounded really patronising. I didn't mean that at all. Oh, lost my mouse. 37. <laughs> 1.7 watts per kilogram. <coughs> but it's a start. That's 1.7 watts per kilogram for a half an hour or so. More than I've done in a long time. So, And rider of the day, Oliver Trilk. 11 years old. I'm blown away when you see like 13, 14 year olds mixing it. Oliver, you matched my power. Um... 1.7 watts per kilogram. And as I said earlier, had it not been for the fact that a big old bloaty bloke like me on the downhill will absolutely fly away. Other than that, you totally would have destroyed me. So great stuff. Um, right. I think that's everything. Right, we're going to get the... Um, obviously, you can just see the results based on Zwift power at the moment. And so after one round, league table, whatever, doesn't really matter. But we're, uh, we're going to get that up as soon as we can to make sure everything's automated as much as possible so that we'll try and eliminate delays from the end of each round and it being updated on a league table. We want it just to literally take the data from Zwift Power if we can and automatically do it all. So 
Uh, bear with us for a day or two on that. Um, and then roll on the next one. Again, let me check what the course is. Very pro stream. I'm sure you'll all agree. So it's the it's the Cramper race. Um, and it's listed as WKG Cramper. 9.15 on Saturday, but it's showing as Road to Sky. But it is the... Oh, it doesn't, I can't remember what the name of the course was. It's something like Chomped Chain or something like that. Anyway, right. Well done, everybody. Congratulations, everyone that finished it. Well done on some really strong, solid results. Um, as I say, I know it's the same for a lot of you guys. My my plan is to build up into this. So hopefully towards the end of this... Uh, well, towards the sort of second half of the series, try and make it a little bit more competitive with those around. The other thing that's really worth doing, and we've done it in every other league, look at the names around you. If like, I mean, I'm not going to be, even if I suddenly find some extreme fitness improvements, I'm going to be battling around 25th, 30th place most of the time in the D category. So I've already signaled out, obviously, Barkley. He's a main rival for me. Uh, it was it Vodda as well, just around me. So Barkley, Vodder. Obviously, Oliver. I'm going to keep an eye on him. And we've got Ryland and Scott. So set yourself your own little mini leagues, as, as we do every time. Set yourself your targets, because at the end of the day, there's no prize money. There's nothing here other than your own pride and fitness improvements and fun. So race the guys around you. That's what it's all about. Um, <clears throat> yes, I will be battling with Oliver if, if I can get close to it. <laughs> Anything going uphill? Oh, my God, the next one's a hilly one, isn't it, I think? Oh, crikey. Right, it's me and you, Oliver. It's on. I've given up trying to beat your dad and your mum. I'm coming for the young Triox now. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, thank you, Paul. Thank you, everybody. I'm going to sign off now because uh, I, I, I don't I actually feel sick, which is surprising. Much to, I would imagine, most of the viewers' disappointment. Uh, but I do feel a bit crampy and a little bit faint. So maybe that's good enough. Thank you, guys. And I will... Well, I'll be doing some sim racing during the week. Uh, but the next, next one of these, Saturday morning, bright and early. See you then.